Starting off from here to Moe, we're going to have a quick review of the Gianni Ferrari Flail deck, 3x1 deck. It's got a mulching function, flail function, and obviously clex. It's a flail mower that tucks, clex, and can aerate. Also mulches. It takes two seconds to change from a mulching function into a collecting mode. At the moment, it's set to collect, so when you're on the mower, cut the grass, collects up into your bin, and you go and dump that. If you want to mulch, all you have to do is hop off, pull this lever, and now it's set to mulch. There's a baffle in here. It changes it from mulching to collecting to divert the clippings into the rear auger. Unfortunately, in Australia, we don't get it, but you can get it retrofitted. The lever that I just pulled, you can get it so it plugs into the auxiliary. If you want to mulch, you just close off the baffle. If you want to collect, without getting off your seat, you just open that baffle. Now that's a great feature. I wish we had one, but unfortunately it's an extra option that they don't offer here. You can get it, but they don't offer it. This, the PJ280DW is the only one with that feature. The Turbo 1 and the Turbo 4 doesn't have the feature. This model has 56 blades, which I'll pull off in a minute. And it's a 135 centimeter cutting deck. There's a rear roll, roll. There's the auger that collects the grass and throws it up into the blower. There's a better look at the auger that collects the grass, throws it up in the blower. It's a bit filthy at the moment. I was going to clean it up. I ran out of time. This comes with three separate blades. There's the blades that are on it for fine cut turf, so you're doing sports fields, nice ovals and the rest of it. Then you've got a Y set of blades that does overgrown work. And you've also got aerating blades. I haven't changed these over yet. I won't do them all, but you can do this on the field. I'll see how I go. I haven't done this before, so wish me luck. You got the tool down there. So all you need is this, which is always on the deck. You don't need anything else to change the blades. Oh, push them back in. And it's as simple as that. There's a spoon blade. If you want to aerate, put that in. And there's your aerating. And you can cut, collect, and aerate all in one pass. One of my favorite features is the rear roller. That's what gives you, goes right along, that's what gives you that nice 
stripy look. I was all about the Janie Ferrari to collect, so I wasn't that interested in mulching function, except when I tried it out, it mulches really well. Of course, it's a uh, full width re-discharge. When your mulcher doesn't clump up like tractors and other lawnmowers, doesn't clump up at all, it just lays it on top and it gets through on well, I was surprised. For only having 28 horsepower, I was surprised on how well the machine mulched. It's a really, really good selling point. And the fact with this model, you can mulch as long as you buy the extra. You can mulch and catch without getting lost. So if you've got a big yard, so you catch around the house and make that nice and neat, then you go out the back, you've got a couple of acres to mow out the back, you can throw it in the mulch mode without shutting down, you just keep on, keep going on the fly. That feature I really like. To adjust the height, okay, it's really simple just to go up or go down, sorry, and go up. That changes your height. One thing I would have liked, one thing that the height adjuster needs, it needs a indicator. There's no indicators. Some of my lawns get mowed relatively low and because of that it's a fine line between scalping it and getting a nice cut. If there was a if there was a measuring device or something coming across here, the, what you could do is line up when you roll, when you spin that, you could line the shaft up with an indicator on the side there. To unclog it, because it does clog up when you're getting too greedy and you're trying to go too fast, or if you're trying to fit too much in the hopper. I mean, especially the long wet stuff, you've got to go nice and slow. But to unclog it, pull the split pin, R clip, whatever it is, lift it open. This bar sitting at the front. You pull it in and you can reach the grass out. Oh, see? Didn't even know it was in there. That brings me to this bar here. A couple of times it bounced out and landed on front. I didn't run over it, obviously, because it's still in one piece, but that needs an extra clip. That needs an extra see? Bounces out. That needs an extra clip in just here just to hold it still. Stop it from bouncing out. I'll go through and find a couple of things that just need to be not addressed, but just this this deck's actually designed for the Turbo One and it fits on to the PG. So there's a couple of things that could be addressed. One of them is, oh, that's locked. To change the blade, you need to open this. There's no way of holding that up. What we need is another, exactly the same design as that, but have it here, come on. What we need is another one of them here, so it can stop that from falling. That way, you've got full access to the blades, like so. Well, 
also as you can see any of the keen eye viewers that's from is going up and down some steep driveways or the trailer that this deck lifts up and pushes up against here on the turbo one there's a much bigger gap so it doesn't actually push up against anything but should have a video On the new Pro X, the PG Pro X, this platform sits higher, so you probably don't have that problem anymore. To those guys that own one, and I've forgotten anything, feel free, or I've got something wrong, feel free to leave in the comments uh, what else I've missed or what I've said wrong. Conclusion of the deck is it's a special unit. If you're after, um, or if all you want is a mower to get in and out of jobs fast, it's probably not for you. But if you want to be able to deep thatch, if you want to be able to lay stripes, if you want to mow from overgrown lawns to a football field without changing decks, if you want to be able to, uh, what's it called? If you want to do lawn renovations, this multi deck, three wide, not one multi deck is a great a great mower. The downside it is heavy and draws a little bit more fuel because it's got the auger as you've seen, it's got the auger and the flowers to spin. But on the upside it leaves a really nice cut. if you can see it in there but there is a couple of pins pull the pin out like so identical on the other side might be able to see that side a little bit better find the pin Pull the pins out like that. Don't forget the chute, <laughs> otherwise it won't go anywhere. Like so. Like so. Grab hold of the deck. And pull it out. You also got to undo the drive shaft. Which I already did before, but you've got to climb up under here. Push it back on the dry shaft like that. But for me, I know a lot of vacant blocks and I mow a lot of residential yards so the fact that I can take the deck out and swap it in a matter of minutes works also the fact that I can get all my work done with this deck and then go straight into a um, tall grass and mulch it it's a big win, I really like the deck downside it is big, it is big heavy and bulky 
but it's got so many features that it's sort of, you end up getting used to it. One last thing, Gianni Ferrari team, if you're watching this, I want you to incorporate the rear roller onto all your RCA decks. Actually, on all your mowers, there should be a rear roller. It might take a little bit to engineer into it, but it will give a true Gianni Ferrari fresh cut. I've got calls from customers asking me if I do certain horns down the street because they recognise the cut quality in the rear stri uh, these stripes the rear roller does. I'm not the only one who's been suggesting this. I think a re-roller on all your decks would be a game changer, it would stand out from all the other moulds. On that note, I'm out of here.